What CUSE has given us is a very consistent framework um, of quality improvement development. Don't let what you can't do interfere with what you can do. It's not just one doctor's daft idea, it's actually it's, it's, a, it's a trust thing and everyone wants to be part of trying to make things better. Actually, we, we ended up making an improvement in our time. What I think is really important is the improvement methodology and, and the fact that you can evidence the changes that you've made. And we've also got lots of measurement here so we could plot these. I think it really helps just having the one format that a large group of people are using. I've got a one. Yeah. <laughs> We've started to reach a critical mass where it's really starting to be um, just as we do things. Welcome, big welcome uh, to all of you to the uh, CUSA course. So I'm Leslie Jordan, I'm one of the consultant anaesthetists here. My journey really in uh, quality improvement and patient safety started about eight years ago. One of the things that we really wanted to do to take things further was to build our um, capacity and capability with quality improvement within the organisation. So my name's um, Anne Plaskett, I'm Senior Nurse Quality Improvement and I think like Leslie I recognise quite a lot of you in the room. For quite a while I've delivered various levels of quality improvement training but they've always been quite ad hoc. Leslie and I have worked together on a number of uh, different patient safety programmes. We both know our own strengths um, and equally we I think can support each other as well. <laughs> this is the fun bit. We decided to apply to undertake the CUSA programme because we developed a quality strategy and it was now about how we're going to deliver that. And one of our aims was how we build capability and quality improvement skills, techniques and knowledge. And we thought it was a programme that literally was appropriate from ward to board. Anne and I went um, and received the Training the Trainer uh, training for the CUSA course. Um, back in February 2015 and uh, then became uh, accredited associates of the CUSA College back in May of that year. I guess the pairing was perfect because of both of our lead roles in patient safety, uh, different types of projects, but also the fact that actually we just get on well. Wave the flag to bring attention to yourself, um, but so that we know, so we just want to keep you all in the room because we are very aware that people will have very different experiences. Since June we've started delivering our CUSA course at Bath, um, now through three cohorts we've now trained about 50 people who are CUSA trained, so that's really improved the spread of the methodology within our organisation, but also we're using those people that have been through the course to facilitate other people on the course going forward and that's our aim going forward is that we will continue to build this body of improvement capability within our own organisation. I've had the opportunity to participate in CUSA. When I saw the value it was adding to people who were uh, instigating and leading projects, I thought I'd like to be part of that. I uh, took up the opportunity to have a place and it's been superb in sort of my own development. It's helped firm my uh, knowledge and uh, my skills in terms of managing quality improvement projects. I will have worked, I've worked at the RUH for 24 years. This is our fourth cohort of CUSA practitioner. We've got uh, quite a diverse group of colleagues in the room. A head of nursing, a couple of consultants, somebody from clinical audit, a matron for surgery, a consultant anaesthetist, registrars. We have an operating department uh, assistant. We also have somebody who is not actually from our hospital, she's from the community and works um, in the prison service actually, but um, she also is involved in um, a bit of work that we're involved in across the community because we're really trying to link up across sectors with a lot of our improvement work. And a lot of these people are true operational people. The most rewarding thing is seeing that people have gone away from the course and have carried on delivering um, and carried on you know, using the quality improvement methodology. The project that uh, I started is really based around um, increased screening for sepsis in the paediatric populations. This has come on the back of an awful lot of 
pretty horrible kind of media attention around some awful, awful cases where children's really serious illness has been missed for very understandable reasons because it's difficult. There's several parts to the project really. The first was the introduction of a screening tool and then also um, the kind of more quality improvement part of the project which is around a, a pro forma to allow us to make decisions in a timely way that fit in with the current NICE guidance so that we can be sure that we're giving the children the best possible outcome once they come to hospital. Doing the QS courses definitely helped me with the specific challenges around implementing change. Without a doubt that's the bit I found hardest to go in and try and make a change just happen. The whole ward team's involved, the ward clerks put the stickers on the admission sheets to make it as easy as possible to, to do the initial screen. Um, we're using patient stories where we've had a good outcome or a less good outcome to, to, people, to people's hearts to try and really make them want to go with the project. Also we're using um, run charts uh, so that we can look at how often we're hitting the target so that people can see with their heads that we're, we're hopefully making progress. I think the CUSA trainings definitely helped how I've approached my work outside this particular project. I'm becoming a little bit of a kind of, a, 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 I'm seeking out, oh, how can I make that change a bit easy? So I, I think without a doubt, it really does help you look at things that potentially looked a bit challenging and thinking, well, actually, maybe it's only a little change that will make everything much easier. So yeah, I've certainly used it during my um, work uh, trying to make improvements within the paediatric diabetes team, which is where quite a lot of my clinical work is spent, and also supporting some of the junior doctors with some smaller quality improvement projects that, that they've been doing. So it's, it's definitely helped. My project is a trust-wide project across all divisions looking at how we can improve the discharge process for our patients. CUSA for me has made a difference in that it came along at the right point um, for this project. The project was just about to kick off. I started my CUSA training, I was in the first cohort of CUSA that was, that was run here. Um, and taking on such a vast project, it really gave me a framework to work with um, to help develop some of those work streams and to lead some of that, those pieces of work within those work streams um, and the tools to be able to tease out some of the, the, um, the ideas, the, the answers that we needed to, to, to find to be able to improve our discharge process. Hi Claire. Oh, hi Jane, alright. How are you doing with your discharge? To begin with there was only a, a finite number of us that had undergone the training um, and it, I suppose it has got easier as time has gone on because more people have undertaken the training, more people are familiar with the methodologies that CUSA teaches. Hi, Grandma. How are you? I'm alright, thank you. Jane, I've come to talk to you about your discharge today. I'm one of the senior nurses here. Oh, yeah. Are you, um, are you ready to go home? Uh, they've done the business, I'm ready to go home, yeah. yes. So the more people that have been CUSA trained over the, the last year, there's been a cumulative effect in that um, the methodology has been spread and there are more projects that are being supported with the format of CUSA. It is. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Raymond. Thank you. So the winner, who is the winner? We! Well, I think, unfortunately, I think Bill's lost you the prize because I think the table at the back there, number three, are the winners. We've seen a number of projects delivered very successfully that have led to sustained improvements uh, in the quality of care we provide. So we therefore see it as a very core way of developing further capability of our staff. So we will continue with the programme of uh, CUSA. I think our aim is that anyone else who is doing a major uh, or has a role in one of the major projects would be uh, would receive that training. We want people to be talking about testing things uh, rather than piloting, you know, implementing them and, and spreading them, but really to, to look at how we spread that good practice. We've got so much of it and uh, we see CUSA as our vehicle for doing that.
I'm really passionate about it, but I can't do it all on my own. I need people to help me, so they have to know how to do it. Um, and so that has been hugely rewarding, actually, seeing people have that switch on light moment that I had kind of all those years ago. In that short exercise, we've learnt a lot, improved the process, and, um, and we've got some, some measurements to show for it. Ah, OK. So it's built capability in terms of skills for undertaking quality improvement projects, but it's developed confidence of staff because they feel they have the tools, the techniques and the knowledge, and they're more prepared to try different ways to um, make changes to quality improvement.